27. Identify the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following molecules and ions that contain multiple bonds. And then we have Cl2SO, and they do give us a little hint. They say that the sulfur is the central atom. Okay, so whenever you're trying to find a hybridization, and specifically we're trying to find the hybridization of sulfur, the easiest method to go about this is to find the Lewis structure first. Now there's a whole playlist on the channel that's designated to draw, you know, writing out the steps of how to do a Lewis structure. So this will be a quick inversion. If you do need a little bit more background, you can always check out those videos. But here we're just going to do a quick inversion and then we're going to get to the hybridization. So they do tell us that the sulfur is the central atom. So I'm going to have sulfur in the middle and all the other elements, in this case, you got two chlorines and one oxygen. They're all bound to the sulfur because that's the central one. doesn't matter where you put your atoms. So I'm going to put my two chlorines maybe down here, CL, CL, and I'm going to put my one oxygen up here. That's good. And now I'm going to put my valence electrons. So always look on your periodic table to find out what the valence electrons are. Chlorine is in group 7A or 17. And if you hear the noise outside, I hope my house is okay, but we got to keep producing the videos for you guys. So maybe bye bye house. Hello video. If I make it to the end of this video, I'm okay. Anyway, let's keep going. So we have chlorine 7A17 on the periodic table. That means that it's seven valence electrons. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And the same thing for this chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The sulfur and oxygen, they're in the same group, right? Sulfur and oxygen are both in group um, 6A or 16 on the periodic table. So that's lucky number six. So you got six valence electrons around each sulfur. So one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, I guess I'll put over here. And then the other element, the oxygen, has six as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single bond it up all the time, and then check to see if you need a double bond. So dot to dot is single bond, dot to dot, dot to dot. There we go. And dot to dot. I honestly have no idea what's going on outside. Let's keep going. Let's check those outer elements. So this chlorine has two, four, six, eight. So that has the octet rule. This chlorine, two, four, six, eight. So that's all good. I'm just gonna move this a little bit closer. And now let's check the oxygen. Eh, not so good. Two, four, six, seven. So I do need to make that multiple bond. I need to make a double bond here, dot to dot, two, four, six, eight. And now the sulfur has two, four, six, eight, ten electrons, but that's all good because the sulfur can have an expanded octet. It has access to d orbitals. It can have a max of 12 electrons if it's the center atom. If it's not the center, it can't have the 12. It has to have the octet. But anyway, now, since we have the Lewis structure, let's figure out what that hybridization is. Now, hybridization is just, there's five different types of hybridizations, and they all come about the orbitals that you're using to overlap to form your sigma bonds in your structure. And the hybridization is always linked to the total number of letters that's in the hybridization. So like an sp3 has one s and three p's, that's what p3 means. And there's a total of four letters here. If I remove one of the P's, now I have SP2, but that's a total of three letters. And the letters always correspond with the number of things. So two letters, two things, three letters, three things, but you just gotta know what is one thing. One thing is either a single bond or a double bond or a triple bond. So don't get you know, confused that you see multiple lines, it's grouped together as one whole thing. And then a lone pair of electrons is also one thing. So we only need to know what the hybridization is of the sulfur. So we're only, only going to be looking at what sulfur's got. Well, what does sulfur have? 
Well, it's got a single bond. That's one thing. It's got another single bond. That's two things. It's got a double bond. That's three things. And then it's got a lone pair. So that's four things. So the sulfur has four things around it, and that corresponds to four letters. So SP3. And that is your final answer. So the sulfur here would be SP3 hybridized. All good. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we're almost at 30,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Where would we be without you guys? I don't know. Not, not doing this channel, but thank you so much for your kind comments and your support throughout this whole journey. It's, it's making this journey so much fun, and I'm so glad to hear from you guys that this channel is helping you out in your classes, your homework, studying for your tests. It's, it's so, so cool to see that this channel goes so far. Um, so let's just keep working hard. We keep producing the videos to help you guys study. You study from them. And it's all good. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.